Are you ready for the next evolution in mobile technology? Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Elite chip is paving the way for the future of smartphones, but there's a shocking twist you need to know about. Tipped to power flagship devices like the upcoming Galaxy S25, the Snapdragon 8 Elite claims to redefine performance benchmarks, but now early reports are raising some serious red flags regarding overheating issues. For years, Apple's iPhones have reigned supreme when it comes to speed. However, Qualcomm is closing that gap with each chip design. The Snapdragon 8 Elite, which succeeds the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, is filled with promising specs. But blazing fast speeds need nothing if they come at the cost of overheating. Among the first devices to sport this new chipset is the Realm GT7 Pro. Tech outlets like Android Authority and Digital Trends have gotten their hands on it. However, the buzz is shifting from excitement to concern. During their tests, reviewers noted that the foam ran uncomfortably hot. In fact, while running GPU benchmarks, the device crashed twice. Android Authority highlighted that during a 3 mark stress test, the temperature soared, reaching a staggering 46 degrees Celsius. And this isn't just a minor inconvenience, the phone even displayed heat-related warnings. The overheating was so severe that nearly all apps were disabled. Users were left with just the basic calling function. Even switching to power-saving mode failed to keep the temperature in check. The chip's ambitious architecture is impressive. Featuring custom Orion CPU cores, a new Adreno GPU, and based on TSMC's cutting-edge 3 nanometers process, Qualcomm boasts performance boosts of up to 45% with a 40% faster GPU. So what's going wrong? Interestingly, a problem may not be solely with the Snapdragon 8 Elite itself. It appears that the Realm GT7 Pro tried to cheat benchmarking apps, pushing beyond its power thresholds. When benchmark tests were conducted using spoofed apps, performance issues arose. While this kind of behavior can yield high scores, it can drastically affect thermal management. Ignoring those thermal limits can grant a temporary edge, one that comes at the cost of user experience. The heat generated is concerning. Narrator, despite the benchmarks, the good news is that outside of those tests, the phone's performance during a 30-minute gaming session remained admirable, with only minor heating observed. Performance was smooth and flawless for most real-world applications. However, it's crucial to note that heavier, less optimized games may still bring back those overheating concerns. In Geekbench tests, the Snapdragon 8 Elite showed a moderate performance improvement, about 11 to 13% over the last generation. This is significantly below Qualcomm's lofty claims of over 40%. This certainly doesn't bode well for Qualcomm, especially with a device using its latest technology caught trying to cheat such tests. They can distance themselves from this behavior, but it raises questions about the actual performance of the Snapdragon 8 Elite in everyday use. So what's the bottom line? While the Snapdragon 8 Elite touts impressive specs, real-world performance raises questions. As we await the Galaxy S25 and other 2025 Android flagships, all eyes will be on how these devices handle the heat, literally. What do you think? Is overheating a deal-breaker for high-performance phones? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on the latest tech trends. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving, with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen, developed in partnership with Wacom, is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button. 
which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new camera control button. This physical key equipped with a capacitive surface allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's 18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, 
offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.